Hello, my name is Jen. I'm from Raptor Tech PCS, and I'm here today to show you how to use our Build Your Own PC Customizer when building a PC. We decided to make a quick video to show customers how to use this because we are finding out a lot of customers aren't really understanding what you can and can't do when building a PC using the custom features. A lot of people think that going into the customizer, you have to go with the build that shows there. For example, with the Build Your Own Ryzen 3rd Gen Gaming PC. The baseline is the Ryzen 3 3200G with 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD drive, Windows 10 Pro. We'll go into the website itself to show some more baseline features. Now when I say baseline features, what I'm referring to is we choose the components that most people like to see in a PC build. When I say that, we use a 240 millimeter liquid cooling RGB CPU cooler because that's what's considered popular. For third gen Ryzen processors, the choice motherboard is an X570 motherboard. Choice amount of RAM is 16 gigabyte DDR4. SSD drive, one terabyte SSD and a 650 watt 80 plus gold rated power supply. Those are the main focus key components that a lot of people look for and select when they're buying PCs using our configurator. So we remade the configurator to use those items. Now, just because it's there doesn't mean you have to go with it. You can choose any configuration you want that we offer, especially with, in this example, using the Ryzen 3 3200G processor because you don't need a 240 millimeter liquid cooler when the OEM cooler does just as good a job with that processor. You don't need an X570 motherboard for the Ryzen 3. You can use it, but you don't have to. 16 gigabytes RAM, we'll always leave that at the baseline because eight gigabytes nowadays is five to $10 cheaper than 16 gigabytes. So it's not worth it and you're actually just gonna cheat yourself. Solid state drive. You don't necessarily have to have a one terabyte solid state drive. You can go with a mechanical drive or you can go with a smaller solid state drive or go with the M.2 drive. Same thing with the power supply. Most builds using a Ryzen 3, you don't need a 650 watt gold power supply for it. You can go with something much lesser. And doing so will change the base price of that PC. Say if you were going to build a Ryzen 3 build, Instead of you paying $859.99, it would end up being much less. And let me walk you through to show you how. So the first thing we're going to do when you go through the CPU configurator, you choose your processor. The Ryzen 3 3200 is already selected, so we're going to leave it at that. Now, with the motherboard, the baseline motherboard that we've chosen is the ASRock X570 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard, which is about a $150 motherboard. You don't really need that for Ryzen 3, so you can choose such as a B450 motherboard. In this case, we're going to choose the Gigabyte B450M DS3H motherboard, which knocks $82 off the price. Now that we've done that, we'll go and choose our memory. Same thing, baseline memory is 16 gigabyte DDR4 3000 RAM. We're not going to change from that to any greater RAM because one, if you're doing an APU build with a Ryzen 3 3200, the RAM, the, I'm sorry, the processor only sees 2933 speed RAM. So we're going to downclock that anyway. So there's no need for us to go into any more expensive RAM unless you wanted to do something such as RGB RAM. In this case, we will go with the G Skill Trident Z for $35 more. But in this build, for example, we're not going to, so we're going to leave it at the baseline RAM that we've chosen. Scrolling down to case, now the baseline case we've chosen is the Thermaltech Level 20 MT addressable RGB case. Again, that's a $100 case. You don't necessarily have to go with that case, or if you choose to, or any other case, you can choose any case there is. There's several that you can select from that does not increase the price. In this case, we're going to go with a less expensive case than what we've chosen. So some of our options are the NZXT H510 series cases in black and white. We have the brand new Nwin Alice Open Air Mesh 
mid-tower case for $35 less. But for argument's sake, we're going to use the NZXT H510 mid-tower case white. Moving on, looking at case fans, you can stick with the stock case fans since that does not generate a lot of heat and there are adequate fans in there for this type of build, so we'll leave it at that. Of course, you can add more fans if you like, or if you want to add RGB fans, that's not a problem. It just adjusts the price based upon which brand and style you choose. From there, cabling options, where you can add custom colored cables. We're not going to do it for this one to increase the price, so we're going to move past beyond that. CPU cooling. This is an important item when creating a build like this, especially if you're doing a budget build. Ryzen 3 processors do not need a 120 or 240 or 360 millimeter liquid cooling system. They're built so the factory OEM cooler that comes with it is more than adequate to suit the needs, even in some minor overclocking, but usually with the Ryzen 3 you're not doing that much overclocking. So in this case we're going to go with the OEM air cooler instead of the liquid cooler that's selected in the baseline. Now if you want for a few bucks more, which I believe is about 50, 20 something dollars, you can upgrade to an ARGB cooler. If you just want to liven it up, fancy it up, but we're not going to in this case. And then with other builds, of course, you can change what type of liquid cooling, whether you want an air cooler, an all-in-one cooler, or even open-loop cooling systems. Graphics cards. From here, you can choose what graphics card you want. If we wanted to add a RX 570, we would select that or any other card, whether it's an AMD graphics card or NVIDIA graphics card. Again, we're going to keep this as the Ryzen 3 APU build, so we're not going to add a graphics card at this time since the graphics on there already are suitable for 1080p gaming. Solid state drives. Our initial baseline solid state drive that we select is the Raptor Tech brand one terabyte, two and a half inch solid state drive. Now, again, you don't have to have a one terabyte solid state drive for a Ryzen 3 build. It's perf It's definitely choice and preference. You may want to go with something smaller, such as a 480 gigabyte solid state drive, 240 gigabyte solid state drive, and as you do that, it decreases the price of the PC. Or go with no solid state drive at all and go with a one terabyte mechanical hard drive to save money. In this case, though, we are going to go with a 480 gigabyte solid state drive. From there, if you want, if you didn't want to go with the SSD or if you wanted to make an M.2 drive, your boot drive, we would select one of the M.2 drives to go along with it or to stand alone or to work in conjunction with, like I said, with this two and a half inch drive or adding it to a mechanical drive. So if we wanted, we could add an additional one terabyte to this build, two terabytes, all the way up to 10 terabyte hard drive to this build. But like I said, we're going to leave it at 480 gigabytes. Moving on to power supplies. Again, the baseline is a 650 watt 80 plus gold power supply. May not need that for this type of build. 500 watts is more than adequate enough, so we're going to go with the 500 watt 80 plus power supply which is $20 less. Now from that point, your computer is practically built. Here you're adding on additional options, such as a sound card you can add to that. We have several options. A game capture card, which allows you to stream video and audio from say your Xbox or PlayStation to stream. With the Ryzen 3 though, you can do that. I would recommend using a better processor in those situations, so we're going to skip that. Wi-Fi, if you want to add a Wi-Fi adapter, we have them starting at the 300 megabyte wireless N to the AC series from 1200 to 3100 network adapters. We also offer VR headsets, gaming keyboards and mice, mouse pads, computer monitors, speakers, headsets, your streamer, microphones, and webcams, as well as surge protectors. We also offer gaming PC chairs, as well as gaming PC desks. 
All of this can be added to your purchase. In this case, we've built the computer that we've wanted to build though for a Ryzen 3 APU build. So we're gonna go back up to top to check to see where we're at on price. And where before we were at $859.99, the build that we've created is $642.99. Now remember, we do have a coupon code running all through November for Black Friday deals. So say if we wanted to add this to the cart, Okay, so we're here at the checkout screen. Like I said, there is a coupon code that you can use. So we're gonna click where it says have coupon, click here to enter your code, enter in that coupon and apply. So that computer that was $642.99 is now $567.99. From that point, you can pay by credit card or you can choose to finance through Klarna or go back to our finance page and offer our finance for everybody program through either Akima or Progressive. With that did, let's do one more. This time we're going to add features though, whereas we took away with this one. This time we're gonna to go to the Ryzen 3rd Gen again. This time, we're going to go with a more expensive processor, which is the Ryzen 7 3700X. We're going to stay with the 570 gaming motherboard that's on the baseline, as well as the RAM. We're going to use the Thermaltake baseline RGB case. We're not going to add any fans since it already has RGB lighting. We're going to stick with the baseline RGB cooler that comes with it because this right now is a free upgrade to the 240 millimeter RGB cooler when you select the 120 millimeter standard cooler for the holidays. Graphics card we're going to go with the 2070 Super. So with that said where are we? 2070 Super. Here we go. We're going to use Gigabyte WinForce. Solid state drive, we're going to stick with the one terabyte solid state drive that it comes with in the baseline build. We're going to keep the same gold power, power supply since that is more than adequate enough to power this system. We won't bother with any cards or game catcher cards or anything, but we will go down here and add the keyboard and mouse. And a Wi-Fi adapter. I did pass that, didn't I? Yes, we did. So I selected the dual Bluetooth and AC1200 Wi-Fi adapter. And a mouse pad. And we'll go back up. And we'll see that puts it at $17.19.99. We'll add it to checkout. And we'll go straight to checkout again. Then again, you'll see a summary here again as far as what options you've selected for this build. I'm gonna take this off so I can put it back on to show you again. Again, and you're in your coupon code and apply. And that PC that was $17.19.99 is now $16.44.99. From that point, you can proceed to continue on the website or proceed to check out or save it for another day. Now remember that coupon code does expire so be aware of that. I hope this clears up any questions on how to use the custom builder. Um, please, by all means, take a look at all of them. We have them for the Intel Z390 series, Ryzen 3rd Gen, Ryzen 2nd and 1st Gen, Threadripper, and Intel Skylake X series. If you have any questions, just click in the bottom corner for the chat, and we'll either respond to the message or will be online to assist you during our business hours. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the holidays.